I am so excited to show you what I have today. So I have a 1956 Royal Quiet Deluxe, and yes, this is the original red color. Ooh, it's gorgeous. This is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Thanks so much again for joining us. Will you give me a thumbs up, even at least just for this gorgeous machine? Take a look at it. 1956 honey of a typewriter. Now this is the original color, but Rob wanted me to make sure to let you guys know that there were a couple spots on here where it was like literally gouged, then the paint was gouged out. Um, you'll see a couple very, very minor scratches. There's one here and one here. I mean, this thing, but I mean, you can't even see it. But right here, there were some major gouges. And so um, he did have the paint color matched and kind of uh, covered those gouges right there. But he did leave some of the other, there's some very minor chips here, and a little scratch here. I mean, they're extremely minor. In fact, you can't even see it when I took pictures. They're that small. That he did want me to let you know that he did get touch-up paint and touch, touched it up right here, okay? But otherwise, this is original paint and it looks, if, uh, I would still say this is in excellent condition because the, the scratches are so minor. It looks brand new. You actually have to have, like I can't even see the scratches unless I have this ring light on, then I can see it. But in the regular light of day and like when I took the photos, photos, you can't see it in the photos because they're so hard to see. But this, this guy is gorgeous and I love typing on a quiet deluxe. I have a couple of them and um, they've become my go-to. I've had, I have other ones. I have an Olympia and I have Smith Corona Electric and I always come back to my Royal Quiet Deluxe, um, even though I do use the other ones, but my Quiet Deluxe typewriters have become my favorite. All right, let's take a look at it. Um, so, Right here is your paper holder, voila. And back here is your tabs, okay. I love that you don't have to worry about the little keys, tab keys to fall out. Magic margins, so you just come over here and there's the margin, but if you wanna change that, you just hold on to that while you move the carriage and then move it to where you want. So now, now you have a new margin. If you want to bring it in, just bring it in and hit it. You can hear that bell. And then same with this side. You just bring it to where you want it, hit it. You can hear it click. If you want it out, you just hold it while you're moving the carriage and then release it, okay? So I'll, I'll be really honest with you guys. The magic margins were so, for some reason, I just couldn't get a, I just couldn't get it and they frustrated the tar out of me, but finally, after using them a lot, um, it just, I, I now get it. It just took me a while. So if you get frustrated with magic margins, it's okay. You're not the only one. Okay, uh, paper release. We'll look at that here in a second. Line selector right here. So when you hit your return handle, it'll advance one, two, or three lines. This releases the roller, which comes in handy if you're trying to get it to line up just right, or if you wanna do sub, superscript, subscript, something like that. Um, just make sure you re-engage, because if you don't, it's just not gonna, um, the paper's gonna float around on you. Okay, let's open up the top. Remember to keep the carriage to the left before you open the top, and you open the top by pressing this button. Voila. And you'll see in here, um, we have put in, uh, it's not our traditional universal ribbon that we usually use. We actually hand wound this one. So we have two kinds of ribbons on our websites. We have the prepackaged universal ribbon. Um, it comes in a little plastic baggie. Uh, we, we buy them in bulk and um, they're very affordable. Then we have the 48 yard, um, not yard, 48 foot ribbon. 
and that's about twice as much ribbon and we hand wind it on a spool and that's what we've done here so you actually are getting like an extra ribbon with this typewriter because you have twice as much ribbon as the standard uh, spool that we normally put into the typewriters also if you have a custom size spool you can go to our website under custom ribbon and what you do is you send us your spools we'll hand wind it and we send it back to you okay so here's your escapement uh your spools with your ribbon this ribbon's going to last you a really long time but when you get to the end of the spool it's not the end of your ribbon you do need to reverse it manually right here that's because we do not have the grommets on the ribbons that um do an auto reverse so you do need to manually reverse it and you just go back and forth. You should reverse this dozens of times before you need to install a new ribbon. When you do, you can just go to jotandtittletypewriters.com, order a new ribbon, and you literally just lift out, pop it down, make sure it's threaded properly through the guide wires. I have an up close image of this section um, on the product listing link. It's in the description below. Please go there. If you have a Royal Quiet Deluxe, go look at it so you know how to thread your ribbon. Just make sure black is on top, red is on bottom, and then just look at the picture and make sure it's threaded the same way as it is in the picture. Touch control determines how hard your type bars are going to strike your paper. It's just your personal preference. Okay, snap that shut. And then your color selector right here. Remember that opens the top. Um, <clears throat> and now let's go ahead and do some typing. All right, so this gorgeous guy, I just can't get over how beautiful this typewriter is. All right, set your paper there. And my husband would not let me keep it because I collect these, but he did promise me that he's got another red one for me. We just have to go pick it up in Indiana sometime. It's with his mother right now. So I can't wait to see the red one he got me. So I, while I'm sad that I didn't get to keep this one because it's so pretty, um, at least I know I've got one coming. All right. And by the way, these uh, colors are really actually pretty hard to find. So, um, and that's why they are so expensive. So you may wonder, why is this so expensive? Because they're highly sought after and they're really hard to find, especially in this good of a condition and working so well. So that's why you pay for these. Okay. So color selector, this is a 1956. Royal Quiet Deluxe. I'm going to switch it to black and let's go ahead. We're going to test out all the keys, but I'm going to type a couple sentences. Um, tab and uh, hold on. Oh, here's the, I forget, this is the margin. So I want to move the margin out, so I'm going to press it down. I'm going to come out to here. Okay. Um, where did my tab go? Sorry, I'm taking a long time. Let me bring this guy up a bit. Um, this feels really good. Good, good bounce back. That's what I like to feel. So sticky keys um, are normal for typewriters. You just use a little bit of mineral spirits and a Q-tip, um, but obviously it's more ideal when they're not sticky. And the bell sounds so good on this. But don't panic if you do have them. Um, just use that mineral spirits, Q-tip, clean. Um, down in there really good. We have a video that shows you how to do that. And um, over time, it'll really, the more you use it, the more it'll loosen up. But this is also good to tell you, that's why you might want to use a dust cover if you don't want to keep your, putting your typewriter in its case. A dust cover, when you're not using it, just helps keep the um, 
all the grime and the dust that's in the air and pet hair and smoke or whatever, um, because that's what creates your sticky keys. You know, if like in your kitchen or something, if you, if you leave or just even like a vase, if you have a vase that you never dust and then a few months you pick it up and it kind of has that grime on it, that's what gets down in here and makes your stick your keys sticky. So you got to keep it cleaned out. If you keep a cover on it, then that keeps some of that stuff off of there. So, and you can find the covers on our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. My mother makes the covers, by the way. Okay, let's keep typing. But all that to say is um, these aren't stiff or sticky whatsoever. It feels amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. You heard the bell, the bell says, hey, go to the next line, but I wanna finish this thought. So I'm gonna keep going and we'll use our margin release. Okay, so it stops, margin release. So that margin release just allows you to keep going. Margin release. Okay, so also this one, um, hold on a second. Let me try that again. Whoops. Okay, so this one, each typewriter has a different personality. And oh, I keep forgetting to put my non-slip, you really need a non-slip pad underneath your typewriters. In fact, I have it right here. Let's go ahead and put it on it. Sorry for the one, it protects your table. You saw that it left these black marks on there. But when you're typing, your typewriter scoots around. And so the non-slip pad, which is on our website, keeps it from scooting around. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, so each typewriter has its own little personality. And this one, I like to type fast. Um, this typewriter, I'm finding it doesn't like it too fast for some reason and not too hard. So, uh, which is good. And it's also good because I have smaller hands. So those of you with smaller hands will like the Royal Quiet Deluxe, but this one doesn't want you to go too fast. Um, um, ba -ba -bum. I don't know how to explain it. So if you want to type 80, 90 words per minute, this is probably not your typewriter. Um, okay, let's keep going. Besides, type, using a typewriter should slow you down anyway and make you more thoughtful in your writing. So this is a nice, steady, you don't have to go slow. You can, you can go at a decent pace, but just not super fast. This one doesn't like the super fast. But, so this typewriter loves a nice, steady, consistent pace, which is good. I mean, it's an excellent typewriter. The exterior is excellent. The performance is excellent. I love it. I love everything about this typewriter. Whoever gets it, you're going to enjoy this. So I know it's a higher price point, but even, um, even other Royal Quiet Deluxes, but uh, this one, even if you're looking for somebody who's younger, maybe like a preteen, a teen, um, these are good typewriters for that. It's college students, or I'm 50, I love them. So it doesn't matter about age. I'm just trying to give you an idea of uh, the ease because the keys are closer together and it's not, doesn't take a lot of effort to press down on them like some manuals do. So I say that because if you're looking for a typewriter 
and they're like 12, 16, you know, early 20s. This is a good typewriter for them because they're going to enjoy typing on it. If it's really difficult, they won't enjoy it. So you want to find something, one, that they're attracted to visually and two, that they can use with ease. And so this one is definitely an investment but it's gonna last you forever, and if you take care of it, it's just gonna increase in value, especially because of its color. But the performance is really excellent as well, and you're just gonna keep enjoying using this typewriter. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to give me a thumbs up on this, share this video with other people, and you all have a blessed day.